Let's take a look at some of the enhancements we've made to the review process in Verity 1.5. Now we'll start by looking at one of the elements that we have not yet reviewed in this analysis. And you see here that we have a relatively good fit, but we can probably do a bit of a better job ourselves. Uh, it's because this beam has very little information along its full length and that information has got a lot of occlusion on it. Uh, if we look up close, you can see, for instance, that on this end, we're a little bit high on our fit, and on this far end, we're a little bit low uh, on our fit to the point data in terms of its rotation. Now, in the past, to fix this, uh, you would have to go to one end, rotate it, and the rotation would always be around the center of the object. That made it very, very hard to fix, because as soon as you got one side right, the other side would be thrown off. Uh, so now, if you hold down shift and then left click and drag, uh, you'll actually see that one side of the object is staying stationary in the view to the right. Uh, so if I come here and align this side to the point data that I've got, I can then scroll out very quickly, go to the other side, do the same thing. And as long as I'm relatively close to the end, it's always going to be rotating around the opposite end. If I were to try and rotate somewhere around the center as my click point, then the rotation would still continue to be around the centroid of the object. We've also added the ability to constrain the movement in a particular direction. Uh, this is particularly useful with walls, floors, and slabs, where maybe the fitting algorithm did a slight adjustment to the uh, wall in the kind of along the length of the wall or vertically. If you hold down control while pressing and dragging, you'll see that it locks the movement orthogonally to the view frame. Uh, so that's going to make it much, much easier to make sure that if you're trying to correct a vertical movement or a displacement plan that you don't want, that you can actually do that uh, with very minimal effort and no risk of moving it in the opposite direction. Now, of course, I've made these changes, uh, but you may have noticed that I forgot to update the heat map while I was still working on this particular wide flange. Um, in the past, that's something you have to remember to do yourself after you made any adjustments. Uh, otherwise, when you went back to it later or if you ran a report, uh, that heat map might be out of date. Uh, we've also fixed that, so you'll notice it took a little bit longer to load up this time when I clicked on it. That's because it recognized the heat map was out of date and went ahead and regenerated it for us before refreshing the screen. Uh, it does the same thing for reports. Thank you for watching.